Hi there, Smart Drivers. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about how to unhook a semi-trailer for the purposes of a road test. This is not for drivers who are going out and working after they get their license. However, saying that the sequence is the same regardless of whether you're preparing for a road test or you're working. LAP, landing gear, airlines, pin. Do it in the same order every time. You won't drop the trailer on the ground. You won't rip the airlines off and you won't bend the dollies. And let me tell you, bend the dollies, every truck driver from here to Mexico is going to make fun of you for the rest of your career. So we're going to be right back with that information. Stick around. Hi there, Smart Drivers. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about how to unhook a semi-trailer for the purposes of a road test. LAP, landing gear, airlines, pin. Do it in the same order every time. Just a little note on the landing gear. There's a crank handle here. In is low, out is high. You can be a little rough with this. Uh, and then you need to lock the handle in. I've seen people do this sort of thing here where they screw around with it. Actually, what you need to do is lock that handle in and crank it down, okay? So one of the ways you can remember it, you crank it this way to put the dollies down and you crank it this way for the dollies to go up. Okay, just a note, when you're winding the dollies down, two fingers on the handle here, out near the end, Put your hand on the side of the trailer and tuck your chin in because you don't want to get smacked in the thing in the face with the handle on here. So crank it down. When it goes taunt like that, then you put it into low gear and keep cranking it down until you hear the air out of the air ride suspension begin to exhaust. So right there you can hear the air exhausting out of the thing. Drop the handle anytime that you're not having the trailer on the back of the truck. You don't have to stow it. You just drop the handle like that. Now we go up to the airlines. So the next thing we want to do is unhook the airlines. So lap, landing gear. We've dropped the landing gear and cranked it down until we can hear air escaping from the air ride suspension. Now we take our lines and electrical lines off. It doesn't matter what order you take them off. However, I do suggest that you work uh, outside to in, that way you're not reaching over and you're not getting grease on yourself and those sorts of things. Now you take these off, put them in the dummy coupler on the back of the tractor. Some guys will have a bungee cord on the deck, you can just put them in under the bungee cord but you get dirt and grit and that kind of thing in it. So if you've got dummy couplers on the back of your cab, take the 30 seconds it takes you to put them in the dummy couplers and put them in there. So to unhook the glad hands on the trailer, just grab on the bottom here and pull up on them. They come up like this, so pull this one off first. Pull this one up. You gotta lift this up because there's a catch on this. You gotta lift up on the electrical and pull out on the electrical line, lift up on this. So you got all of them in your hand like this and then come up and put them on in the dummy couplers on the back of the truck. So the electrical has a groove on the top of it here you can see and in the dummy coupler there's a groove that it matches up with. You just stick it in the top there like that and then the two glad hands, 90 degrees, push it down. 90 degrees and push it down. So your lines are stowed. They're also, there isn't any dirt or grit going to get into your airlines, so that's a good place for them. And this too is not hanging down near the drive shaft or any place like that that's going to get ripped off and whatnot. So the next thing we do, so that's the second step, airlines and electrical disconnected and stowed. And the next step is to pull the pin on the fifth wheel. So the last step of the uncouple, LAP, landing gear, airlines, and electrical, disconnect that, and then we're gonna pull the pin. Now most of the time you're gonna have a pin puller. Unfortunately, I don't have a pin puller today. Use a pin puller because what happens is, is the fifth wheel is covered in grease, and all of that grease is gonna go up on your arm, and eventually you're gonna get into the cab, and you don't know where the grease comes from. So try and use a pin puller. Go to the truck stop and get one, or just make one. You can bend a piece of steel up to hook onto this handle here and pull this out. And you can see that it's a bit gnarly. If you've got a, a pin puller, it's a lot easier. So you can see that the handle's out. And also this uh, particular fifth wheel has a bolt, an adjusting bolt on the front of it. You can see that the adjusting bolt has come out as well. So now you know that it's unlocked. And for the purposes of a road test, 
you're going to have to go in underneath and make sure that the jaws, in fact, are open. And it depends on wh where you are, which licensing center you're going to. Some of them will want you to go in and check the jaws, others will not. I personally don't think you have to because if you pull the tractor forward and it doesn't come unhooked, you know that the jaws aren't open. But we're going to go in and check them. If you're underneath the truck here, you just look up into the fifth wheel there and you can see that the jaws are open. And all you do is you just come under here, have a quick look and say the jaws are open and you're ready to go to un finish unhooking the, the trailer. So we finished everything outside, lap, landing gear, we've cranked down the landing gear until we heard air exhaust from the trailer, we've unhooked the air lines and we've pulled the pin. Now we're ready to finish uncoupling. We get in the truck, we pull forward a foot and the reason we want to pull forward a foot is because we want the kingpin out of the fifth wheel and the reason we want the kingpin out of the fifth wheel, there's a flange on the bottom of it and you can see that in the image here and that flange will hang up in the fifth wheels when you drop the air suspension. We've got to drop the air suspension because we want to make sure that the ground is supporting the weight of the trailer and we know that by dropping the air suspension and putting all the weight on the dollies of the trailer. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to get in the truck, pull forward, drop the air suspension and come out and check that in fact the trailer is being supported by the ground because if it's not being supported by the ground and you drive out from underneath the trailer and it sinks, <laughs> your employer doesn't like you because it's really, really tough to get that trailer back up off the ground. So we're going to do that. Pull forward, drop the air suspension and check to make sure that the weight is being supported by the dollies on the trailer. So we get in the truck, we move the truck forward, and the other thing that I suggest when you move the truck forward, use bull. That way you've got a bit more control when you're pulling out from underneath the trailer. So we pull forward 12 inches, we get the kingpin out of the fifth wheel, and then we drop the suspension. And you can see here in the shot that there is now daylight between the trailer and the fifth wheel, which indicates to us that the trailer uh, dollies are actually supporting the weight of the trailer. And it's unhooked. So quick review of unhooking, We've, we're all done unhooking, you can basically drive the tractor away at this point. So LAP, landing gear airlines pin, so crank the landing gear down, there's two gears on the landing gear, there's a high and a low and make sure that you lock the handle in, otherwise you look like a rookie. Remember, being a veteran isn't really oftentimes knowing more, it's simply looking like you know what you're doing. So make sure you lock the handle in when you crank the dollies down. Crank the dollies down until they touch the ground, put it in low gear, continue to crank it down until you hear air escaping from the air ride suspension on the truck. Then you disconnect the lines from the trailer and work in out to in. Hook them onto the dummy couplers on the back of the cab. So LAP, last one is pin, pull the pin, the handle is out and the bolt is out on the front of the fifth wheel. Some jurisdictions will want you to actually get under and visually look to make sure that the jaws on the fifth wheel are open. After you've done that, you get in the truck, roll down your window so you can hear. Always when you're working in yards and backing up and those types of things, always roll down your window so you can hear. Put the truck into bull, pull forward 12 inches, 
and you pull forward 12 inches, dump the suspension, get out and make sure that there's daylight between the trailer and the fifth wheel. That way you know that the ground is supporting the weight of the trailer because you don't want the trailer to sink into the ground if the ground is unstable because your employer <laughs> get pretty excited when they have to get a huge forklift or a crane out there to pick that trailer up off the ground. So that's the reason you don't pull out from underneath the trailer right away. You want to make sure that the ground is supporting the weight of the trailer. Then you pull away. Now oftentimes on a road test what they're going to get you to do is uncouple like this. They're going to get you back up beside the trailer so that you're offline with the front of the trailer. Then they're going to get you to pull forward and they're going to get you to rehook to the trailer. So that's what they're going to do for the purposes of a license. And as I said, once you start working, just keep it in that same order all the time. LAP, Landing Gear Airlines Pin. If you do it in the same order every time, you're not going to rip the airlines off. You're not going to drop the, drop the trailer on the ground and you're not going to damage the landing gear. So make sure you keep it in that order every time. As I tell students, semi-trailers are easy to hook up. <laughs> they're also easy to screw it up. So make sure you do it the same way every time. Question for my smart drivers. Have you ever ripped airlines off a semi-trailer when you've been unhooking a trailer? Leave a comment down in the comment section there. All of that helps us out. I'm Rick with Smart Drive Test. If you like what you see here, share, subscribe, leave a comment down in the comment section there as well hit that thumbs up button. Check out all the videos here on the channel if you're working towards getting a license or endeavoring to start a career as a truck or bus driver. Thanks again for watching. Good luck on your license. And remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day. Bye now.